In today's video, my friend Kat and I are going to talk a little bit about where to find foreign girls or expats in general here in Beijing. What's up? Welcome to another video from Ling Ling. Today I am here together with my friend Katrin. Hello everyone. I'm Katrin. I'm 25 years old and I live here in Beijing together with my Chinese boyfriend. This is another AMWF video where we are going to advise you guys on AMWF relationship. What was AMWF again? Asian male, Western female. Yes, yeah, so <laughs> if you have any questions, please send me an email on info at lenaaround.com. We will try to advise mm. you guys or answer your questions. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so Ling Ling, what is today's question? Well, I'll tell you. We got an email from one of you guys, so thank you very much. The email says, Hi Ling Ling, love your videos on YouTube. Thank you. I live in Beijing too. Just a real quick question. Where is the place that I can approach a foreigner slash Western woman here? Will appreciate any tips you have given me. Thanks. So that is what we're going to talk about today. Mm -hmm. Where to find your future foreign lover. <laughs> <laughs> Some of you might be Chinese guys who are looking for a foreign girlfriend mm. and yeah, we're gonna give you some advice where yeah. you can meet us. <laughs> and we're also going to talk a little bit about the things we do not like to hear so yes. much. Mm -hmm. yeah. So let's just get started. I know that you have a place you mm -hmm. really like to talk about, right? Yeah, so when I was living in Shanghai, I organized events. And to these events, many Chinese and, and the internationals were coming. And I used the platform Meetup, meetup.com. It's actually a really great website and also an app where you can organize events and also find events about literally anything that Everything. you could imagine. Entrepreneurship, uh, language, sports, life skills, mm -hmm. yeah. Or just nearby, really. Mm -hmm. If you're looking for any kind of event, then you can just check nearby you. I actually didn't know about this website before Catherine, she told me, and mm -hmm. I've also been using it. I, I really like it. So that is like the number one, I would say. That's mm -hmm. a really good mm -hmm. There's usually a good crowd, like, you know, mix mm -hmm. of internationals and Chinese. Yeah. And I also feel that it's, it's good if you have a common interest, so you already have a topic oh, you can yeah. talk about. That's true, mm -hmm. yeah. So it's a very good idea to choose something you actually interested in or something you want to learn more about because then you also have some like an open up kind of like an icebreaker you know when you when you meet yes people. Mm -hmm. yeah so another one that I use a lot is on the Beijinger so that one is a website here where mm -hmm. they also have a lot of events going on they literally have events for everything as well you cannot search for like specific events but you can see everything that's going on in the city for like the next few weeks so I've been looking at that or use that for uh, quite a lot the last few months because I don't have any classes and I do a lot of work online so sometimes I just feel like I'm stuck at home a little too much so last time I found this really cool event that was called a ping pong event at a bar so me and Catherine we went there together but yeah I really like that one as well and you can find it on WeChat as well so you don't even have to go and find the website you just search the Beijinger and then you can find all events in Beijing there yeah. like generally speaking I think that these platforms for instance also also couch surfing, they have events mm. and you find there are a lot a of one, events yeah. on WeChat and WeChat group. So many, yeah. Yeah, so I feel that as far as it's English speaking events or yeah. maybe language exchanges, yeah. English corners, you might find a lot of, you know, Western, foreign, international women there. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, women, yeah. Yeah, so we were just talking a little bit about this, like when it comes to language. It's very important that if you want to meet foreign girls, then you have to look up English language events. Maybe you're a little nervous about using your English, but it's okay, you know, people don't judge. You just, you go there, just try to throw yourself out there, and if you're a little too nervous, then, you know, buy a drink in the bar. You'll be <laughs> fine, you'll be fine. Yeah. <laughs> and you might meet someone who wants to practice Chinese, like, I very often ask the Chinese people to talk to me in Chinese, because then I practice some Chinese as well. Hmm. Yeah. So, while we were talking, 
thinking about this, like where to find or meet foreign uh, Western women here in Beijing. We also talked a little bit about the things that we don't like guys saying or like Chinese friends saying to us when they meet us the first time. Yeah. <laughs> so we thought we would put this in this video as well. If you're a Chinese guy, a Chinese guy, and you're looking to go to one of these events, there are a few things. If you're approaching a Western girl, then there are a few things that you probably should not talk to or tell her the first time. Okay, so okay, so let me start. The first thing I did that I really don't like the Chinese guys to say to me if they want to get into contact with me is like, "Hi, can you be my friend? I want to practice my English." And yeah, then... this one is just a no go. Yeah. yeah, I think I think it doesn't matter if the Westerner is a foreigner is a boy or a girl. Like for everyone, we hear this yeah. all the time all the time it's just it's too much you know mm -hmm. so if you're really interested in talking to foreigners that's the number one thing you should not say don't ask them to practice english with you because mm -hmm. we're so tired of this sentence. yeah why because it makes us feel that we're being used uh, being your just, free english teacher <laughs> yeah we're not a free english teacher and also mm -hmm. i'm like well if your only goal is to learn more english then it's you're not hanging with me because you like me you're hanging with me because I'm a foreigner so mm. even though you want to practice more English just don't say it you know just mm. go and talk to people just say hey what's up you know where are you from and where are you going you know yeah. but yeah just to mention this sometimes I don't like this question where are you from yeah. if I just if I just met you you know first thing you yeah. ask me where are you from <laughs> without saying hi we my name is so this and that yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah because it it makes me feel that you're just interested in me coming from a foreign country yeah. and it's just it a stereotypical yeah. yeah it's just a stereotypical <laughs> question so you can ask this question of course but mm. maybe not as the first talk move. about some yeah. other things you know have you mm -hmm. studied chinese or you know what what do you like to do in the weekends yeah. or you don't throw stereotypes at us for yeah. instance oh yeah. do you like to eat burgers or oh yeah uh, are you, you like to eat cheese like Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you like Chinese food? Uh, <laughs> yeah, these kind of questions are pretty boring. They're you hear so them all boring. the time. Try to be a little, you know, <laughs> creative. Think out of the box, you know. <laughs> Try to think about some other things to talk. Especially if you choose, as we mm. said, some event that has some kind of theme. I've been to a few entrepreneurial events, entrepreneur events, and you know, then people start talking about their business or goals in life or how they want to develop themselves. You know, those are interesting questions. So we also talked about about another one so I have also had this experience a lot Chinese guys they come to me and like oh I've always wanted a Western girlfriend mm. a foreign girlfriend and I'm like oh that's great you know so bye bye <laughs> and it's also kind of weird you saying this to me <laughs> yes because it's like so you don't care if it's me or another one or another one and we get it there are a lot of people who haven't seen foreigners before and a mm. lot of people are just very excited to meet a foreigner for the first time in their life but mm, it's just if you really if you're sitting here watching this video then I guess that you have met or seen a foreigner before so mm -hmm. please don't say that don't say I'm looking for a Western girlfriend you know you might have a preference that's totally fair that's totally fine just just don't throw it in her face yeah, yeah. so because everyone likes to feel special right we don't want to be like just for our race or yeah. our skin color but really for who because, we are yeah Mm -hmm. Yeah, get to know the person and talk about what she likes and what you like and then comment on those things instead of, you know, you can be interested in her culture, that's totally fair, but just, you know, mm. Don't, don't push yeah, it too yeah, much. Yeah, yeah that would mm -hmm. be, that's a good one. Something that goes into the same direction is what I hear often. Oh, you have a boyfriend, so can you introduce me to yeah. some of your <laughs> foreign single girlfriends? Yeah, I have this as well. Like, can you, yeah. do you have a Danish girlfriend who looks like this? And then, mm -hmm. no, no guys. We're not your matchmakers. No. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if you made friends with us and we were having a party, we might invite you if you're a cool person and then you might meet our Western girlfriends you know mm -hmm. it's just don't push it too hard yeah don't push it just mama lie just take it easy you know just chill and, and talk about common interests and, and maybe China in general maybe don't ask why they like China because that's just a very big question
question. Oh know? yeah. I yes. never know how to answer that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, Do you like China? Yeah. <laughs> that's a very, very big question, you know. Talk yeah. about something that's a little easier to get around. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well that was all for today's video here, our Friday Talks, Friday Advice. Uh, remember, if you have any experience or anything you want to add to the conversation, then just leave a comment below. We love to chat with you guys and we love to see what you think as well. And also, if you have a question about AMWF relationships, then send an email, info at lenaaround.com and me and Kat will look into it and see if we can help you answer the question. We're just sharing our own experience here, so, you know, whatever you feel like, just uh, let us know what you wanna know. <laughs> yeah. And if you liked uh, this video or this kind of video, you can also, you know, put a thumbs up so we can see That's if you true. liked it, if you should yes. do more of these kind of videos yes. because we, re we really like we filming really them. We really like making yeah. these videos, it's so fun. Yeah, but we're not sure, you know, uh, yeah. so a if thumbs you're up them. and subscribe for more videos and check out social media as well. We've, I put a lot of stuff on laying around uh, Instagram and Facebook. 